title that uh, I actually picked up uh, earlier this week uh, during the humble uh, winter sale that they were putting on. And it's interesting. As you can tell, the colors and graphics are absolutely beautiful while still being a kind of retro-y side-scroller. Um, I don't want to say roguelike or even rogue light because it's not really that. Uh, it is more... No! Uh, it feels more like uh, Dark Souls the side-scroller. To, to a very odd degree. Um, go, go away, go away. Uh, you do have, like, different abilities. Uh, I haven't unlocked a whole lot. I haven't played a ton of this, but it it's just such a beautiful, fun game. And I thought I would uh, bring a little bit of gameplay. So, those little uh, skulls up at the top are your health bar, basically, and the big skull with the swooping flock of seagulls haircut is your power bar. So you can charge up to become Super Saiyan, and that'll uh, heal you, but it will take your power down, your um, ability power. Uh, how do I get over there? Uh, it does have a lot of puzzle elements that are very cool. Oh! Sweet baby J. There we go. Um, so there's a lot of places that I can't traverse yet just because I uh, don't have the adequate abilities. But, god damn it! Son of a... And you gain ability power by basically beating the shit out of things. Uh, the plot is kind of interesting. It is, uh, you basically go to this town where this town was kind of swallowed up by a hive or something. Again, I haven't played a ton of it, so I haven't got to really witness the full plot. But it is basically this hive and kind of, god damn it, son of a bitch. Hey, bud. Anyways, so the city basically falls into this kind of chasm or whatever, and the hive kind of takes over and starts turning people into bugs, and so that warps their minds, and they, the animals and the people become hostile because they're basically their mindset is deteriorating to the point of being primitive and fight or flight and all that good stuff. Um, and you'll find this dude, he's a map maker, so he can give you maps and stuff, and that was one thing that kind of sucked for me, was, yeah, see, I can't get up there because I don't have the dash yet, um, but you start off with no maps, no quill, no way of mapping the areas that you um, are in. And so you have to kind of wander around until you find a uh, boss, I think. I think you kill the first boss and then you're able to talk to that dude and he'll give you a map or sell you a map. And... Uh, then uh, the map shop opens up, and you are able to go... Oh, I forgot to cross it. Okay, that's the place I couldn't get to, though. Right? No? Maybe? Also, there's a whole bunch of dicks just sticking up out of the ground, so there's that, too. And these little, I don't know, flower-looking things, flower stones, they are your currency. Now, when you die, die... you lose all of your currency, and that flat out sucks. Because uh, that's how you buy a lot of the upgrades, a lot of the uh, 
like the compass, the maps, the quill, and once you get a map and quill, fuck off, you are able to actually start mapping the zones. Eat a dick. Uh, obviously there's a lot of pitfalls and stuff like that, uh, but you can look down or up and kind of plot your route a little bit easier. Oh, eh. well, looks like I need to be going down, actually. So, don't mind me, I'm lost. Whee! Fuck! See if I can find this way down. Hi, there it is. And so, obviously, you can do the Super Saiyan power up and uh, get your heals going. There is also a pretty great variety of enemies, kind of like that one that just pops out of the ground. There's dudes that leap, and each zone has drastically different enemies. No! Oh, fuck. Woo! Okay. And you can rescue these little dudes. What's up? I hate those guys. Alright, where am I headed? I'm trying to head this way. <laughs> oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Take me back! Beam me up! Fucking martyrdom bastards. God damn it. Fuck! Shit ass cock! So when you die, like die die, you respawn on a bench, on the last bench that you sat at, which heals you and whatnot. Um, and then you have to run your happy ass back with no fucking currency, so everything was wasted. So it really discourages you from just outright dying. Now, pitfalls, any sort of thing like that, will not instantly kill you. It basically just makes you respawn at the checkpoint. Um, like the entrance to the room, uh, with one less, uh, health skull or whatever. So, being able to smack some dudes, get that healing going, is super duper important. Also, not playing like an idiot really helps. But you're not going to see that today. Also, my timing is garbage. It's been many a day since I have played uh, 
old school platformers, so I think the last one that I actually played was Rogue Legacy, like, two years ago. Still have it, I just don't really play it. come back, you also have to fight your demon self. And he's a dick! Also, the sound is really good. Like, music's solid. Sound effects are good. Just, just a cool game. Okay, and that little wicked symbol to the top left, I think, is a boss. Okay, I don't know how I'm supposed to get over here. There we go. Oh, fine, fuck! I don't want to kill you, but I will if you don't fucking go away. But there is a ton, Jesus Christ. There is a ton of things to explore in this game. Hey, lady. always that you just can't quite jump high enough. You kind of just have a rough outline, but once you sit on a bench with a quill and the correct map for the zone you're in, you will be able to update that map with the places you've been. So this has been kind of toted as that Metroidvania type feel, and to an extent I get that. But I don't think it gives quite the same... I don't know. I don't think it gives the same feel or the same experience. It's similar, being 
basically what it is, which is that kind of uh, frustrating as fuck bullshit. Um, the same kind of uh, side-scrolling good stuff. Whee! I can't go this way yet. Son of a bitch! And I'm dead. Sack of shit! God damn it! <sighs> Fuck off. Lost all my goddamn money. Pretty sure this is the wrong way. I don't give a shit. Yes, this is definitely the wrong way. I don't give a shit. Fuck you. Fuck all of you. As you can tell, this is a this here is a little bit of a different area because it's that blue tent. And this one is a green tent. So it unfortunately does not give the Shovel Knight uh, way of getting your shit back of, oh hey, you you died, lost your stuff. It's from so far that I've seen. I don't know. I'm probably going to get proven wrong here in just like two seconds, but we'll see. Yay. So, okay. Yeah, here we go. God damn it. Ha ha! Suck it! Look at this. Gonna read a map over your dead body, you bastard. was not a boss fight, unfortunately. Uh, bosses seem to take a little bit longer than that. I better heal before I fucking die all over again. Back in the blue zone. You can also tell by the difference in enemies. Which I think is pretty cool. Leaf zone has different enemies. Looks like I can get get around over here. Oh god. 
Uh, fuck off? Give me a razor beak. Eat a bag of dicks. Give me all that money. Hey, bud. Sup? I mean, I'll fucking kill you right now. You want a piece? Can you do this? You haven't even seen my final form yet. Fart in your general direction, you twat waffle. Whee! Does this take me where I need to go? Yes, yes it does. God damn it. Oh, look at that gold mine! Okay, 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 okay. Asshole. before I go to a place I can't come back from. God damn it. God damn it! There we go. Let's go lose it. Well, I gotta save this dude. I was hoping to just do a quick video and be like, hey, here's a zone. Let me show you what the boss looks like. No. Eat a dick. It's 
Stop tailgating me. You know how much I went through to get you out? You better fucking have a party for me. I better be invited. I want cake. I like cake. There it is. Now I can go the shortcut. Jesus fucking Christ. mean. You play too rough! <laughs> Asshole. Well, at least I've got the shortcut open now. Hey, doesn't this look familiar? Off you fuck. I need up there. This game is definitely easier with a controller. I am not using said controller. I wish I was. Um, it even says so, like, when you start playing the game, that a controller is highly recommended. And I can definitely see why, because having to remap all the controls is kind of a pain in the ass. Well, at least it's right here. thing comes back. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now this is a fucking boss fight! Is just this whole yep. Oh no! Oh god. Can I? Nope. I can't. Can't dash up. I see. Okay. Maybe if I. Whoa! And all of my shit goes right in the fucking acid. And you'll find a couple places like this, uh, where you'll find NPCs. Oh yeah, sweet, sweet, resty. Well, thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, after boss fights and just in some of the areas, you'll find these like. I don't know, houses, or shrines, temples, whatever. And uh, sometimes they'll have benches, sometimes they're shops, so on. That's a good place to stop the video. You guys got to see a boss fight and me chopping down what looks to be stone dicks and grass. Uh, and me dying a whole bunch because this is definitely not my genre of game, but it's still a ton of fun. It looks great. It feels great. It's it's just fun. Um, yeah, check it out. And uh, usually you can get it on sale for under 10 bucks or around 10 bucks. Definitely worth a look if you like this kind of thing or just kind of want to venture out of your comfort zone and play something new. Um, as always, thanks for watching. You can check out our podcast at MediocreGamers.com and on uh, iTunes and Google Play. You can keep up to date with us on Facebook and Twitter at 2MediocreGamers. And jump on our Discord. It is Discord.MediocreGamers.com. And I'll have all the links and everything in the description below. And thanks so much. And until next time, get out there and play some.